In today's tour, we're gonna be looking at a model right here, at Titan Factory Direct. And let me go ahead and tell y'all, right when we're getting into it, that this floor plan and layout is very, very special. Now, I know I try to hype them up a little bit before we walk in. I do, I do. I want you to have a good time and really enjoy them. But I'm serious, this is one of those floor plans that uh, when I walked in it for the very first time just a second ago, I said, yeah, mm-hmm. I shook my head up and down. And I was like, yep, this one right here, this one will do. This one will do. I told Bill, get the get the camera stuff. We got it. We got to go. So we're pre so I press record, and here we are. I want to show you. We do have a back door right here. Notice we got us a nice light there up under that back door, and this is some of their um, smart board siding. And uh, you know, I'll be honest. I don't. They explained it to me earlier, but I just can't remember everything. Uh, but the way they stack it, it's it's. Um, it's, it's supposed to be very durable, long lasting. It helps make the home, you know, more heavy duty. Uh, it's supposed to be like termite free because of something that they have inside of it. Plus like water resistant. And um, you could probably find more online. Yeah, I should have wrote some of this stuff down to be able to share with you, but I'm sorry I didn't. Okay, around this way. Yes, we are at Titan Factory Direct and this is in Georgetown. Texas if y'all are over this way y'all need to come check them out and if you do come check them out be sure that you tell them you watch the videos tell them you've seen some of the tours that just really helps me out a lot and I would appreciate you if you take the time to do that notice we got those same lights under here we've got uh, some different some different color as you can tell different color siding and then all these windows at our front entryway plus we got the big Texas star on the front door right here since we are in Texas, all right, all right, all right. I mean, I ain't gonna never stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in Texas, I'm gonna have to drop at least once. That is the first time I've done the all right, all right, all right. But uh, here we go. <laughs> now, I just wanna let you know that they say, this is just what they say, that your day would be 10% better if you dropped a like on this video. That's just what they say now. I'm just what they say. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'm gonna take you inside. I'm just gonna give you a quick look. What did I tell you? What did I tell I, I told y'all, I told y'all. Y'all got to stop doubting me. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I just talked about it in one of the other tours. Like, Chance, you, you talk every one of them up. Like we, you know, we don't know what to believe anymore. Look, I know, I get it. But when I tell you for real, for real, then you need to listen. Oh man, look at this tray ceiling right here. And keep in mind, you know, you can definitely do some different options as far as col colors and stuff like that. I love the beams that we have. Look at this flooring. What really blows me away about this house is just the square footage right in, in the living room, kitchen, and dining room. And when you're outside looking at it, you just don't think it's that big, do you? Did you think the same thing? Y'all drop a comment. I was like, I mean, it's it's a it's a pretty good sized house, but nothing crazy. But it is massive, and I think you'll see they used a lot of their square footage right in these areas, and I'm glad they did. What if I came right here and got in the corner? Mm, mm, mm. What I want to do next is just step right over here into the dining area. And I love the amount of, you know, space. I love how this house is kind of sectioned off. I do really like that. But it's not like super tight, you know, these walkthrough areas. I mean, think about getting furniture and stuff in here. You're not going to have any problem with that. If you're like me and you're like, 
Don't, Chance, don't be talking about furniture. That's the last thing we want to talk about is moving furniture. Look, I get it, fellas. My wife wants to change something in the house about every three months. I mean, it's like once a quarter. We got to do something. I'm like, what? This is definitely one of those dining spots you got the whole family over. I mean, after church on Sunday, come on, come on, come on, grandparents, come on, aunts, uncles. I, we're going to take care of y'all today. Look, look at that. Another same situation right here with this walkthrough. I noticed on one of them other homes as well, they had the cabinets on the end of the island right here. I like that. I like the color of these too. Multiple countertop colors in here and cabinets. Oh my gosh, the Vena Hood area is beautiful. Stainless steel appliances right here, the built-in microwave. I love this spot above your microwave. I gotta open it up. Y'all gotta, yeah, I mean, just gotta see it. Sorry. It's the last cabinet I'll open in this tour. Now this backsplash, I don't want to get too crazy, but notice how it's got like, there's different types of like, you got this, this, this. They kind of mash them all together. Right? That's, that's beautiful. You got this sink and then you have this in here. I, I honestly have never seen this in a sink. I imagine you would put that in there you could put your stuff and it would kind of like drain the water off, I would think. That's a great ad there. And if you, you know, if you have a sink and you don't have that, you may need to get on Amazon after this tour. What if I link one in the video? Now, I don't know if y'all have noticed, we can link products in the videos. Oh yeah, I said I, I said I wasn't gonna open another cabinet. This is a drawer. Hey, <laughs> I hadn't opened a drawer in so long. I had to I had to scratch that itch. All right, now look at this right here. This ain't your dining spot. This your breakfast nook or your lunch nook. Here is where the back door is going to be, where the utility room is at. We've got this sliding door right here. We come in into here. Got our furnace right here to the right. Water heater behind this panel right here to your left. There is the back door. Look at all this space that you have. Over here, you've got your uh, washer and dryer spot with a rack with a hanging rod. They didn't really dress this one up with a lot of things in here, but you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of think that's cool. That way you customize and do what you want. But don't be lazy and end up not doing nothing, okay? If you're going to plan something to put in here, do it. Oh, if Caitlin's watching, she's going to get me. I'm the world's worst talking about stuff I'm going to do. I got to show y'all a shot of this crown molding and these baseboards in this house. Now, you can tell it's a little bit narrow right through here. Next up, we're gonna walk down this way and we've got a few different things to look at. Two bedrooms, another kitchen worth of cabinets, and a bath.
This house is fully tape and textured sheet rock. Oh my gosh, that guest bath has a towel shower. <sighs> Deep breath. I hadn't seen that, y'all. I didn't know it. I did not know it. I would have said that. And I would have said that on the exterior if I didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and look at it. Mm. Oh, I really just focused on the living room, kitchen, and dining area. I have not even been back here. What, what's happening right here is I'm getting one up. You know, it used to be cool, just tour a house, and in your guest bath, you had a shower tub combo. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, that was nice. People like seeing that. Now, we got tile showers in the guest bathroom. You know what? What, what do you think is gonna happen when I go back just to show a little shower tub combos? You know what's gonna happen? A lot of dislikes. People ain't gonna like that. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Oh gosh, I gotta figure that one out. All right, let's walk in here. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Titan Factory Direct, y'all killing it, okay? <laughs> y'all killing it. Y'all definitely satisfying the viewers. And the recorder, commentator. Down to the other end, we'll ride. Check it out, check it out. Look, I know we've been having a good time. I've been kind of cutting up with y'all, but seriously, on a serious note, this house is amazing. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite ones here for the amount of square footage and all that. Uh, y'all drop me a comment. I wanna hear from you. I really, really want you to share this video more than anything. Share, share, share. If you got friends, you got family around this area, anywhere close, you need to send it to them. Holy bejeebies. <clears throat> oh, gosh. I was not ready for that. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. This is the main bedroom? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty confident this is a tiny house. <laughs> Uh, all right, I miss, I did see this earlier. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it because we looked at this house like several hours ago. Uh, Nick was showing me around a lot, but I did forget about it. But yeah, I did see this earlier. What a main bedroom. I mean, fellas, I mean, you got, you could play some chess or something because you're going to be here a while waiting. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. If you ain't married yet, let me go ahead and help you out there. All right, we head into our bath. We got double sinks. Ooh, look at this backsplash. That's very nice. Uh, we've got the double sinks. We've got uh, these. I hadn't seen any matte black faucets here today, which I do love, but I also like these a lot. These look really good, obviously, with our cabinets and the pools on them. I, you know what? I'm going to put that up, and, and as I say, I'm thinking you probably wouldn't ever do that, but... I don't think matte black and brown cabinets. Ah, uh, you know, I, I've seen it before. It does look okay. So this is the same tile from the other shower, but this shower is a lot bigger as you can tell. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. What is over here? So this is a great little added area. Get you a little bit of light. Just a little bit of light now. Got your electrical outlet there, ladies, for your curling iron or straightener. Caitlin's got a straightener that she uses about every day. And you know what, for some reason, my toothpaste gets put in the drawer, but that straightener gets to stay out. I ain't figured that one out yet. 
Oh, I hope she's not watching this video. You know, you would think seeing that living room, that kitchen, that dining area, you would think like, you know what? Everything else in the house has gotta be really small because there's so much square footage right in there. But it's really not the case. We've got a huge closet. I love that we don't see the wire racks. I like that a lot. Huge bedroom. Y'all, please share this video. Please, please, please drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe. We're finna get into more information, okay? It's that special time for the outro where we go over some estimated retail pricing and just general information. But what I want to do first is I know I told y'all in the last in Tuesday night's tour that I would give you some more information on where I'm actually going to be at on my trip. And I'll tell you this. Here's what I can tell you. That, that I'll be flying into Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, am I getting a connecting flight from there going somewhere else or am I staying there? I can't disclose that at this moment, <laughs> but that will give you a great idea in the, what's that word that vicinity? Or am I, I could be going to Charlotte and then all the way back to Los Angeles. I guess it's still kind of up in the air. I'll tell you more as the tours go on, cause it's gonna be a little, a little while before any of that content comes out anyways, but yeah. Let's get into the information. I'll have it in the description. This is a beautiful house. I can't, I mean, I've, I've showed you the home. I've talked, I've talked it up over and over again. I hope you really did like it as much as I did. I'll have uh, our website link in the description. You can use that if you would like to see about getting yourself financing or pre-approvals, or if you want to get some more information, you can use that. And once again, I'll tell you, if you're over that way, go check them out. Go check them out. They got a great place a lot of great people there so do that um also titan factory direct has several lots in the state and uh i believe the surrounding states as well so you can check them out online if you would like to do so we look, 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 look. i wanted to quickly remind you the videos do come out tuesday thursday and saturday night which means our next video will be this weekend 6 45 central time and let me just tell you this, okay? I'm gonna tell you one thing about it. It's gonna be a little bit of a hint, just like kind of like my trip, but it's not gonna be much. I'll tell you this. It's a home tour. <laughs> you gotta come back and see it. You gotta come back. Bring the whole family with you. All right, retail estimated pricing. This is what's just, what has, has been provided to me there. It's just a range, you guys. Y'all know the deal, but in case there's a new viewer, you never watch the tours, I'm not personally selling these houses. I'm just showing them to y'all, showing you everything that's out there. Uh, it all depends on where you're at, the location, the county, the state fees, the freight charges, um, just what you need included, uh, how extreme you go with the options on the house, or did you save some money and not get some things to cut down on expense as well. But this will give you a great idea on, some, well, on what something like this is currently going for today's market. It'll be right here, right up above us right now. There you go. All right, well, seriously, I will be flying out in the morning and I'm headed to North Carolina. Now, where I go from there, I guess only time will tell. Hope you'll have a wonderful day. I'll see you Saturday night. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching.